Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Notion Hub and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best features of Vivo V23e. By the way, check out my dedicated video for the tips and tricks section for this phone, where I've shown many things which I won't be covering in this video. So definitely check it out, link will be in the description. With that said, the most highlighting feature about this phone would be its cameras. On the rear, this phone comes with a triple camera setup with a 64 megapixel primary camera and for selfies, it's got a 44 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture. Cameras on this phone are definitely the best in its price segment and it does take some great shots. Next, this phone also comes with some decent performance. It sports a MediaTek Helio G96 processor with Mali G57 MC2 GPU. Now, I'd say it's decent, but for a normal user, performance is definitely good enough. And even if you're a gamer, you can do some light gaming as well. With that said, overall performance of the phone for a normal user is pretty good enough. Next, this phone also has a pretty impressive display. It comes with a 6.44 inch AMOLED display with Full HD Plus resolution with a peak brightness of 1300 nits. Once again, it is one of the best displays in this price segment. Next, this phone also has pretty good battery life. It comes with a 4050 mAh battery, supports fast charging, and also comes with a 44 watt power adapter inside the box. You can charge your phone from 0 to 70% in about 30 minutes. So the charging speeds are definitely great. Next, I'm going to show you some of the interesting software features on this phone. First, we'll start off with global search. Now, this particular feature is enabled by default. And whenever you are on the home screen, you can just do a swipe down gesture to go to global search. Now, from here, you can search everything on your phone. You can search for applications, contact names, messages, files, and even settings. This feature is actually pretty similar to the one you can see on iPhones and it also works pretty well. Next, we have an inbuilt application to lock applications. Now for some security reason, if you want to lock applications, net banking applications, or in some cases, if you want to even lock games, you can do that using this feature. You just need to go to security settings, app and encryption. For the first time, you need to give it a unique password and this password can be different from your lock screen password. Now select the applications that you want to lock and you can also select on what basis it should be locked. Like whenever you lock your phone or whenever you close an application, those applications will be locked. You can also choose to unlock locked applications using facial data and fingerprint scanner as well, which can be pretty useful. Now, once you have configured all this, you can open any locked application and it will ask you for a password. And if you have already enabled fingerprint and face unlock settings, you can also use the fingerprint scanner or face unlock feature to unlock a locked application. As this is an inbuilt feature, it works pretty well and it's pretty secure. Next, we also have an inbuilt feature to hide applications. Once again, for some reason, if you want to hide some applications on your phone, you can do that in this way. Once again, go to settings, security, privacy and app encryption. Now select app hiding. Now from here, you can select all the applications that you want to hide. Do note that once you have selected these applications, they will stop running in the background. So if you hide applications like WhatsApp, they won't be receiving messages continuously in the background. Whenever you open them, they'll get the messages. Next, make sure you enable this particular toggle, view hidden apps, to check out your hidden applications. Now once you're done, you can go to the home screen and check out that all the hidden applications are hidden on your home screen. Even if you search for them on the Play Store, it will not show as installed. Even in your recent apps page, you won't find those hidden applications. Now to access those hidden applications, there are two ways. One is go to the same location, that's settings, security, privacy and app encryption. From there, you can check out all your hidden applications. Another way is using a gesture. On the home screen, swipe up using two fingers to access all the hidden applications. By the way, you can also choose to go with password protection for hidden apps. Next, we have a feature called App Clone. Now using this feature, we can have two instances of the same app. Like we can run two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts, two WhatsApp accounts on the same phone. It's a pretty cool feature, but it can only be used for some applications. By the way, we can also hide these secondary applications as well. Next, we have dynamic effects. Now Vivo has put a lot of things related to animations and visuals of your phone, all bundled up in a single place called dynamic effects. From this place, you can change your dynamic effects, touchscreen animations, ambient lighting effects, fingerprint icon animations, fingerprint recognition animations, 
So basically you can do a lot of stuff related to animations and visuals of your phone. So definitely check out this section. Next we have always on display. Now if your phone comes with an AMOLED display, you will definitely have this always on display feature which simply keeps the display always on. So this is how a normal phone looks like. It's completely black, there's nothing going on and this is with always display on. So basically you can have some extra information on the screen like date and time information, some notification icons, battery percentage and so on. So all this information will be always on even when your phone is locked. So you can enable this feature from here and you can also configure things like you can change the clock style, display mode and you can also choose the notification settings for the always on display feature. Overall, it's a pretty good feature. Next, we have one-handed mode. Now, once you enable this feature, you can just swipe from the left side or right side of the screen, like twice in this way, to enable the one-handed mode. Normally, the phone's display is definitely pretty big for single-handed usage. So in that case, you can just enable the one-handed mode and use it like a smaller phone. Next, we can also automatically record calls on this phone. Now to do that, you just need to open the phone dialer, go to phone settings and you have the phone recording option. From here, you can choose to record all the calls automatically on your phone. By the way, this particular feature is available in India, but might not be available in other places. So if you are not able to find this option, use a third party application. Next, we have game mode. Now once you enable this feature, whenever you are playing a game, you can access a game panel from the left side corner. You can just swipe it and it shows up which gives you lots of options. It gives you options like auto brightness locking, taking a screenshot, we can record the video. We can open applications in pop-up windows while playing a game, which can be pretty handy. And most importantly, we have pretty unique features which are available only on this phone. For example, we have 3D vibration with 3D surround sound. Now this particular feature is for games like PUBG and Call of Duty. And once you enable it, your haptic engine works in sync with the game. Like whenever you shoot with your gun or you get shot, you get a haptic feedback on the phone which can improve your gaming experience. Next, we have some super fancy gestures. First, we have double click to light. Once you enable this feature, like instead of pressing the power button to go to the lock screen, you can just double tap on the screen to light up the screen. Next, we have double tap to sleep or double tap to turn off. Once you enable this feature, you can just double tap on the lock screen or on your home screen in a blank area to turn off the phone or just lock the phone. Now here's a quick demonstration. Whenever your phone is locked, you can just double tap the screen, turn it on so you can check out the time and some other information. And once again, you can double tap on the lock screen to turn off the phone. You can do the same even from the home screen. Next, we have raise to wake. This is another super handy feature. Once you enable this feature, you can just pick up your phone from a table and the display lights up automatically. If you are using face unlock feature, it can make the unlocking process even more seamless. You just need to pick up your phone from the table, just look at the display, your phone lights up, checks your face and unlocks the phone. Once again, this is a pretty cool gesture. Next, I'm going to show you how to enable the alternative phone dialer and SMS application on your phone. Now by default, this phone comes with a Google phone dialer and contacts app. So if you want to change that and go back to the old Vivo phone dialer, this is how you do it. Just enable this feature and you get an extra phone dialer from Vivo and then you can choose the default application that you like. So guys, these are the most important things that you need to know about your phone. By the way, if you want to know about all the software features offered by your phone, do check out my playlist where I explain about each and every feature available on your phone. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. With that said, this is Nikhil signing off. See you in my next video.